I am Katie and this is the Target Beauty Box for the month of October. So if you don't know, Target has a $7 beauty box. Um, what I don't like about the box is that you have, you, you can't subscribe, you have to jump on it on the first, on the first of the month, and you need to jump on that box, or else you will not get it. And I'm lucky I got it this month, because Target sent me an email, and they've never sent me an email before, but they sent me an email for some reason. So the first thing in the box um, is a description, and a coupon for $3 off, a $15 purchase cool beans so the first thing I see is the wet and wild bold graphic marker it looks like some weird chisel tip I mean I have enough of these already it's in jetliner black now wet and wild is really cheap but you have to keep in mind that this is seven dollars <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's not... I am pleasantly surprised. The next thing in the box is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I like Jergens. Um, this is a nice travel size. Yeah, I can use this. It's lotion, what else can I say? It has coconut. It doesn't... It doesn't smell bad. I have sensitive skin, it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. It, yeah, this is a good lotion. It's a nice travel size. I mean, what else can you say about lotion? After the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer, it is the Chapstick Total Hydration Tint Plus Moisturizer um, in Rose Petal, um, Rose Hip, and Jojoba. 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 How do you how do you how do you pronounce how do you pronounce it? I've always been pronouncing it Jojoba in recent times. I've heard it pronounced. Jojoba. Like, please. Please tell me how to pronounce words. Please tell me how to act like a human being. Uh, but it has rose hip and jojoba oils. That's the that's the pronunciation I'm going with. Um, and it's in rose petal and it's it's new. So in recent times I've bought a different um tinted moisturizer and it put the color above the moisturization. If I buy a tinted moisturizer, it shouldn't be like like a lipstick, like a wet lipstick. It needs to be primarily a moisturizer. Cause that is what I bought it for. It just should be like slightly pink, you know? But this is the Chapstick Total Hydration Moisturizer and I can put it on lips cause I have lipstick on. I mean, it has good color. It has a good color, it's not that colorful, but you could definitely notice it. You're not gonna put it on your lips and it's just gonna be like chat. It's primarily moisturizer, it does the job. Meh. After that, it is the uh, Hydraulic Day Cream. Hydrating... Hydraulic. <sighs> Please tell me. Please teach me the English language in the comments. Um, the Hydrating Day Cream from Derma E. I have combination skin right over here, it's like wet, like, but like on the 
cheeks. It's nice and dry. Um, yay! But this is from Dermot E. It's a day cream. Uh, this is a nice size. Uh, again. It smells nice. I can't explain the smell because. But I will say it smells nice. Nice. And then after that, there is the Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo and Conditioner. It has tea tree oils and helps increase scalp circulation to reduce itching and flaking. And that's the shampoo. And then the conditioner is has protein, herbs, and essential oils that work to detangle, strengthen, and moisturize hair. I have curly hair so I don't use shampoo very often, but this seems like it would be nice on my scalp, you know, like... The downside for curly hair is if you moisturize the heck out of it, you don't put anything on the scalp ever because you will get a buildup of product and, you know, dead skin and that's... That's, that's gross, that's gross. But I get that anyway, you, you're gonna get that anyway, but so much dandruff, so much dandruff. But this smells really nice, it smells like peppermint. It smells like peppermint. What else, what else would it smell like? It smells like peppermint tea tree oil, that's exactly what it is. It's paraben and sulfite free if I don't use sulfates on my hair, so that's nice. I probably won't use the conditioner just because I have a big pot of uh, co-wash. The shampoo will definitely help and it's the perfect size bottle for my hair. I don't need a lot of shampoo, I use a very little amount. And if it's in a little bottle, that means I get to use, I can if this works, I'll probably buy it again. If it makes my scalp feel tingly, 10 out of 10. I haven't tried these products. Last but not least, we have the BB cushion from Laneige. Target, come on. Come on, Target. Stop trying to push this. This is, what's the full size price? They don't have it on here, but Stop trying to push this. They're trying to push this BB cushion, BB cream. It actually has SPF 50, which is nice because I freckle so easily. Like, it's covered with makeup or whatever. But this, we had a couple of other boxes, and the first box we got, this was in it. You really think this pasty ghost white skin will look good in the color light and like it looks like they don't even have very many colors they have light medium medium dark and dark if you have really dark skin I had I highly doubt this is gonna do anything for you it's gonna be like you're gonna look like a ghost you're gonna look like me you do not want to look like me. So in the sample, they don't even give you dark. I guess I could use this for contouring. I could use medium or medium dark for contouring. Oh, sponge, that's... The sponge is actually adorable. Let's rip open medium. It's a little sponge. Spongy. I guess I'll use the blue side. Pick up. I'm not gonna put it on my face. I thought that would be the material of a beauty sponge, but it's not. I'm disappointed in that last product. But um, you know, for some dollars, this is actually really good. But Ten bucks again. Gotta jump on it on the first, like around one o'clock. You need to go to Target and search up Target Beauty Box. You also get a three dollar off fifteen 
that was pretty, I guess, you know, feed the addiction, feed the lifestyle. Um, that's it, I guess. So my name is Kate. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on the Instas and the Faces and the uh, Tweets.